he's doing. Here we go. He'll chop that one down. Go use that axe on some wood, stupid. Alright, so we got some food on the racks, right? Some food on these racks. We need to go hunting. Yeah, we need to go hunting. Yeah, you just missed the winter. It was a very bad winter for my uh for my settlers. <laughs> it was it was not a good time for us. We we uh very unhappily um most of us died. I'm just gonna say it did did not work out the way we wanted it to. I don't know why they're not building that spear. I don't understand. Um, do I not have enough flints or something? No, I got plenty of flints. It needs sticks. I have sticks. And I need flints. And I have flint. I don't understand. Well, we're going to try it again. All right. I, what are you doing? Go do something! He really won't go do anything. I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, I'll, I'll some hunt. You want to go hunting? Here. That's what he wants. He wants to go hunting. I wanted to get that spear first before I went hunting. Is there any green? Green stuff? Whoa! What's the, who's this? Who is this? Yarrick, he's the old man who almost died in the wintertime. He has taken it on his own initiative to go hunting out here in the middle of nowhere for me. I guess he's like, listen, I don't want to gather. I don't want to chop wood. I'm just going to gra grab a spear and uh, whatever happens, happens. Okay, here we go, a megaloceros. We'll hunt that down. Is there any more? Yeah, I was going to say, where well, there's one, there's usually a couple. This will give me some more skins. All right, good. He's like, listen, if I can grab a spear and I'm, uh, quote, quote, air quotes, hunting, air quotes, I don't have to chop any wood, and I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah, but he's clearly a millennial. He won't work with his own axe. Create still come up with tech and do the work for him. <laughs> so he can cry out, feeling meaningful to the tribe while pretending it's all your fault. You privileged, patriarchal, pro-historical tribal chieftain. <laughs> well said, Mega. Well said. Right. I don't know what. I don't understand why they just keep standing around. Like I have plenty of tasks for them. Um. We'll do cut down trees in this area. I'm just trying not to hit too many pear trees. That's the problem. One worker, ten logs is fine. That's what I need. Okay, so the trees are going to get cut down, hopefully. Okay, where's my gathering? Um, Gather sticks. Still doing that, and there's still a lot of sticks over here, so that should be going fine. Harvest wild plants. I've been doing that over here, and that's been working alright. Berry trees and stuff. Because over here, there's a couple pear trees, but that's it. Yeah, that's not really a lot. So we'll just keep that here. Alright, so what can we build? Production. We can't produce anything new right now. Because we're still waiting for this tree to get chopped down. I may lose the game because my people refuse to work. Isn't that something? What are you doing? Why, she's a fisher. She's tired, man. Look at her. She's all worn out. I've been fishing and I'm tired from sitting down fishing. <laughs> We've only got one point. We need four more points before we can do any more knowledge. 
this this is not going good for us right now guys everything's starting to go on a down slope we're low on everything right now except for food food seems to be all right ish but um yeah this is this is not looking too good and all because i built that tanner first because i built the tanner before the composite tools we've been pretty screwed and i cannot get these guys to chop down the trees I don't understand. They just they won't do it. Like we love nature. Nature is our friend. <laughs> we do not want to cut down these trees cuz nature's been here longer than we have. But if they don't start cutting down trees, we're going to die cuz we need those logs. What are you doing? You're not doing nothing. Oh, go into the biface. She's she's getting meat for me. First tools, then clothing, then housing. No, it's it's got to be clothing, then tools, then housing, or else you die off in the winter. Because the stuff on the drying rack takes so long to dry. So she's making that spear for me finally. And we'll make another axe too. Yeah, we, uh, how would you make clothing without tools? Oh, mud and leaves. No, we, uh, we had stone knives. So we had stone tools and we had sticks. We had pointy sticks. That's how you start. So we used our pointy sticks and our, our stone knives and we were killing the animals with the pointy sticks and skinning them with stone knives and then you take the skin and you put them on the drying racks well yeah that's a tool you start with though I was talking about tools that you know you have to upgrade too like you can't chop down a tree with a with a stone axe for some reason you have to get a composite tool axe the game's very detailed in certain parts <laughs> and you are not doing nothing So what I think the problem is, I think the dude that has my axe, instead of going and cutting down the tree like I told him to, I think he went off on a hunt. Not talking about the game, talking about the first humans. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about the game. Yeah, so I think the guy that has my axe actually went off on a hunt. And so now I have to build, make another axe, because I don't know why he would go hunting with my axe instead of a spear. But she's making a spear, and then she'll make another axe after that. Here comes a guy. He's coming back with some furs, so that's nice. Those will go on to the drying rack. The boar has escaped. Damn it! How'd the boars get away? The boars outsmarted my people. There you go. She's, she's the one who got outsmarted. What's the matter? What's the matter? Did the boar outsmart you? Alright, so now we have a spear, right? Now we need that axe. You need to go work on the axe. We need those axes bad. It is now summertime. Oh crap, a storm is coming. Oh man, this game is just not good to me. <laughs> the game is just beating my butt ever since the winter time. Ever since winter time, it has not been good for us. Oh crap, the storm is just gonna beat us down. There's a big ass bear over here. He smells us. He's like, mmm, people. The other, other white meats. Mmm. <laughs> Hey, go ahead and make that axe while you're sitting there. What are you doing? He's gonna go pick some strawberries. Okay, go pick some strawberries, dude. What are you doing? You're supposed to be making an axe. No! Go make the axe! 
He doesn't want to. He's just completely defying me. What's he got in his hand? What is that? A bone spear. You know what? You want to defy me? Here. Defy me now. Defy this, buddy. Defy me. I'm going to go make you go hunt a bear. How do you like that? Defy me more often. See how that works out for you. Ooh, we got plenty of furs on there. That's nice. Yeah. See if you like defying me in the future, buddy. It's you versus a bear. Man versus nature. <laughs> you probably should have listened to me. Probably should have done what I told you. <laughs> Go fight the bears, stupid. <laughs> Here, yeah, go sneak up. He's unhappy. He's like, no, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, no, both the kids died off in the winter. I had two kids. They died. <laughs> but people will still come to the village if they like the village. But I'm not going to be reproducing any at the moment. Because uh, they died. Like, he's not happy. He's like, I don't, I don't want to fight the bear. <laughs> Please. You're going to fight him anyway. Ah, here he goes. Ah, ah, get him. No! 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 Oh God! No, Merrick! No! No, Merrick! <laughs> now, does anybody else in this village want to defy me? Anybody else? Anybody else want to not listen to me? Please, somebody else, tell me you're not gonna do what I tell you to do. <laughs> Let Merrick be your example. <laughs> I've only got six people and I'm still making examples of them. <laughs> oh, alas, poor Merrick. We knew him well. <laughs> That's ruthless right there. <laughs> that is ruthless. <laughs> I mean, it'd be one thing if I had 50 people and I'm making an example, but I'm making an example when I have five. <laughs> Oh, so good. <laughs> now the bear has tasted blood. She's recovering morale. Oh, so if they, uh... I didn't know they did that. They get morale from the, from the, um, totem poles. <laughs> She's in memory of Merrick. <laughs> Yeah, her morale is pretty low. I didn't know that's what those poles were. Maybe I should build another one. Where's all my people at? Are they all out hunting? Is that where it is? I think that's what. I think they're all out hunting, which is fine because I need the food and stuff. But I really need some people to do uh, do some camp chores too. Okay, I got ten berries, so I've acquired more knowledge. That's nice. This guy is an absolute trooper. She's going to get the bone harpoon. Why? I don't know why she wants the bone harpoon, but okay. I really need this axe to get built. I guess when you only have five people, it's kind of hard to have much of a settlement. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys are not going to survive the winter if you don't start um, doing some work. <laughs> yeah, Merrick, it's all because of you. It's all because of you. <laughs> I don't understand why I can't get them to work on this flint axe.
Not sure. Oh, crap. There's a bear sneaking up on this side now. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hey, listen. What are you doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> come, on, come on, Yogi. You got, you got other places. You got other places you could be. You really, you don't need to be sniffing around my village. I let one of you kill Merrick. That was, a, that was my sacrifice. I wonder where my axe is. I can't find my axe anywhere. Remember that one dude was having it, and throwing it around and stuff. Oh, okay, it's in the tent. What are you doing? Come get the axe. So somebody, they, they decided that nobody wanted to cut the trees down is what happened. Nobody wanted to do it. So they took the axe and they threw it in the tent and then ran off. That's basically what happens. And she don't want to either. She just took the, 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 the axe out of the tent. So now I'm taking it and telling her to go pick up the axe again. Yeah, she's going to throw it right back in the tent. No one wants to cut stuff down. I don't understand. <laughs> they won't listen to me. They just refuse to listen. They absolutely refuse. They're like, you are not a good leader. We are not doing what you want us to do. You will just have to get over it. <laughs> Jerks. Well, you're all going to die off in the wintertime then. How do you like that? All right, let's cancel the hunts. <clears throat> It's more important that we get these trees chopped down. There's a bear on this side and a bear on this side. We are surrounded by bears. But at least they're getting a lot of berries and stuff, so that'll be helpful. I don't think what I don't think they're storing the berries. See, there's no berries in here. They're just getting the berries and then they're immediately eating the berries. This is not looking too good for our uh, for our tribe right now. I think she's about to build that other axe. Yeah, I think she's going to build me an axe right now. Did this mine run out and then I didn't notice? No, it's still good. There's plenty of flint in there too. It's I don't have enough people to do much. It's okay. You guys are doing good. Keep it up. We get some morale boosting. Some good morale. Come on, team. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go, guys. Okay, so she's going to go do it. Maybe what it is, these trees are just too big. And they're not happy about having to cut those big trees down. That might be what it is. Because now she's going to go cut some trees down for me, finally. He's going to go build some morale. His morale is very low. There we go. We're finally chopping the tree down. Finally. 